4.38 minutes now left until the polling booth slams shut in Britain. U.S. stocks are rallying as investors expect that Britain will probably stay in the European Union. But there is this. Standard & Poor's, the ratings agency, is warning folks that Britain's AAA rating could be swiftly downgraded if it votes to leave. How devastating would an exit be, not just for the U.K., but for the rest of the European Union and here in the United States? With me now in a Fox Business exclusive, the man with the inside track to all the workings of the European Union, former U.S. ambassador to the EU, Boyden Gray. Ambassador how bad could it be for the European Union? And, and please, you know, we, we hear so much, I, I, I don't mean to call it propaganda, but on both sides of this, we'd love to hear the real story on how bad it could be for the European Union if Britain says, forget it, we're out. Well, there are two big problems. The first is that uh, England's exit could encourage other countries to think about leaving themselves, and then you could have a spiral downward of the, of the Union itself as a, as a single market, which would be a terrible thing for all the countries involved, including uh, Great Britain. Um, mm -hmm. And then I think secondarily, um, England would, uh, or the European Union would lose uh, the most um, forceful advocate for free markets and economic growth uh, other than Germany itself. And losing England would be a blow to Germany and a blow to the entire continent because of their advocacy of uh, greater economic growth, which is badly needed in Europe. Well, look, uh, let's just say they remain. Should it not be a big enough scare, jump scare to Brussels, to tell Brussels and the European Union, you guys almost lost England. You better do things to make it easier for businesses to run in the European Union and the UK, because we've got a businessman coming up. He's a billionaire. He's on the other side of this, and he said that businesses are choking on the red tape. It takes something like six months to open a bank account. It's very hard for manufacturers to get going and to actually hire people and do things. Now, shouldn't this be a wake-up call to the European Union that kind of streamline things? Well, I certainly uh, hope it's a wake-up call. I certainly hope they understand it that way. That's certainly what we would hope they would see and that we could work with them uh, to, to, to improve growth in both, in both continents. Uh, we have a, a regulatory problem here in this country that's very bad. It may not be as bad as, as Europe, but it's bad, and the two of us need to combine forces to put a stop. Uh, to all of these uh, barriers to, uh, to growth for small business, for entrepreneurs, and for innovation. Well, uh, then, it, then, then we come to things like the membership. You know, the membership cost, I believe, for the UK is something like 20 billion pounds, which is more than 22 billion dollars. Why do you have to pay for a membership? I, or at least streamline that as well. It, I think there's this crying because we're a business network, that's why I keep really kind of hammering this issue. We want it to be easier for companies to grow, to be created, to hire. And, and that kind of issue weighs on everybody. Well, yes, but um, in terms of payment to the union, it's no different really than, than what comes out of the state of Texas or New York or mm -hmm. California that goes to fund you know, our own budget here. Uh, the problem that, that Great Britain faces is that half their exports, half their market is the European Union's single market. And if they want to keep that market, they will continue to have to pay um, into the budget. They'll have to accept Brussels regulations and, and they'll okay. have to accept the immigration issues. Um, Ambassador, we've got to go, but I'll keep it simple, as simple as the ballot itself. Where would you, if you were a British voter, cross your check? Would it be to stay or to leave? To stay. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Ambassador Boyden Gray, he's the former ambassador to the European Union.